Hello Automation Anywhere lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. Get ready to learn how to automate your tasks like a pro. Let's get started. And today we are going to automate this login page and we will see some best practices and uh, some best logics which we should follow when we log in uh, when we automate any login page. So let me show you. So in control room, I have already added this action to open this website and uh, we will capture the login part. So first of all, we will uh, set some text in the email box, email uh, text box. And uh, Okay, and uh, then we will enter the password. And then we will click on this login button. And uh, let me finish the recording. So when we go back uh, to this control room, we can see all these actions which we captured recently. Okay, so first of all, we are going to enter the email address uh, in the text box. Uh, this one, uh, this is the main object. Okay, so here we are going to enter the text uh, which will be the email ID and uh, let uh, this object properties as it is and then we will uh, enter the password uh, i have stored the password in a variable so let me select that variable okay then we will click on the login button all right so this is the basic process which we follow for login into any web page let me add some delays also after that, we will see what are some uh, best practices we should follow. So here we go. We can see this as uh, our bot has completed successfully and it has logged. It was able to log in into that web page. Okay. So uh, this is the simple uh, login process which we generally follow. Now what I want is, for example, now this page is open uh, because the uh, we have already logged in into this website. Now our session is active and when we run the bot again, it will auto automatically redirect it to the home page and it will not go to the login page because our, sex, uh, our uh, previous session is already active. So let me show you uh, our bot is running and uh, it will launch that URL. And you can see it has successfully launched the home page and now we are not getting those uh, email and uh, now we are not getting uh, that uh, login page because it is uh, redirecting to the home page only. So our bot will get terminate. So we can see the, it has termi it has terminated because uh, it was unable to find this window at line number three, in which we are setting the text in the email box uh, in this uh, in which we are uh, we are inputting the email ID. Now the best practice is. First of all, we need to check whether this login, uh, this page window exists or not. Means, uh, when we go to this uh, login page. So first of all, we will check whether a particular element, for example, in this page, this login is constant. Uh, uh, we will get this login label on this login page only. And on home page, we will not get this. Uh, on home page, we will get this dashboard. Okay. You need to find a label or an element which is only available on this login page only means for example you can take this login button or you can take this uh, email uh, label etc whatever you can take okay so let me capture that okay so let me capture that for that i will take a if condition and here i will take the recorder or object object exist okay and uh, which object uh, first of all uh, we will select the window uh, this login window uh, it is window 3 okay so i will give window 3 here this window 3 is for this login page and here i will capture the object here we go i'm capturing this uh, login uh, label and we have captured this so we will check if that uh, label exists, then we will perform these steps. So all these login steps means inputting the is username, password, all those things we will perform only if that label exists in that window. And uh, also we can check if that window exists or not. So first of all, we will check uh, if 
window exists or not. Which window? Window 3. So if that window exists, then we will check whether that label exists or not. Then only we will perform these login steps. So let me show you one thing. If we press uh, something, if we write something in this email section and when we press uh, tab key, then it will automatically uh, take the or move the curve focus to the next uh, text box, which is password. And here we can enter the password and uh, we can enter the, uh, then we can hit the enter button. If we uh, perform these steps, then we need to capture only this email uh, text box. Let me show you how. In set text only, we will uh, use this, uh, we will write this email address. Then we will press tab key and for tab we will use this keystrokes. And here we have tab. And after tab, we will write the password. And at the end, we will and we will press enter. You can see this code. Email, then tab, then password, then enter. So if we perform this, then no need to uh, capture that uh, password text box and uh, no need to capture that login text login button and we can remove these delays also so only one element is enough if we want to auto a login now page let me click on save and let me show you the run before that i will close both the windows the next day So as we can see, it has successfully logged in into this website. So this is how we can uh, use these best practices to avoid any termination or any issue. After this if condition, we can apply one more if condition and in which we will check the home page, whether home page is available or not. And if home page is not available, then we can uh, throw some errors means because our login page is not uh, available, our home page is not available. That means something is wrong in the website. So we will throw an error. Alright. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do let me know if you have any doubt or any question.